Hey guys, in this 3D Vista tutorial I'm going to talk about the autopilot functionality in 3D Vista. Um, as you can see right now the panel is, is rotating while I'm not doing anything with my hands and as soon as I take control of the tour uh, it stops and I can look around myself. Um, and I just want to show you how that works and how you can turn it off. So let's, let's start with how you can turn it off. Um, it's uh, in a list. Uh, panorama, then uh, play as loop, you can turn it off like this, preview it, and it will not do it. So as you can see, uh, now hands off and nothing happening. So that's how you turn it off. Uh, now let's turn it back on again. What we can do here is um, uh, set the speed, for example, set it slower. So this is very slow. Set it faster. And we can make it look go, uh, go to the left instead of to the right. So as you can see right now, it's going to the left. Um, so about the laps, right now it's making one lap. And as soon as it hits the return point over there, it goes to the next panorama. So like right now. So let's say I want to um, uh, do two laps, then I can make this two. Uh, one. Two. And it goes to the next panorama. Another thing you can do is instead of uh, two laps, like let's say five seconds, Preview. One, two, three, four, five. And it goes to the next. Um, inertia. So let's try that. And without inertia so it's basically how it's like um, how it starts like from the beginning to the end it's, um, and then uh, what you can do as well is you can say um, uh, don't allow interaction so right now I can move around uh, also in this first panorama which is this one I can move around um, but if I say don't allow interaction I can click all of all I want, but it's not moving. So th this could be a very nice way of like first um, demand people to listen to your story, what you have to say about a specific panorama, and then let them uh, move freely around the panorama. And you can say continue path automatically if user doesn't interact for like, well, let's say two seconds. So um, so let's say I'm moving around now, and now one, two and then it moves again and if I do not check that it will not move again now other things you can do with the autopilot is uh, to say okay let's uh, watch this uh, part of the crane then let's go there um, then check out this rubbish because there is a hotspot and then let's make him look to this guy whoa wait I wanna so I'm moving this exactly to that guy uh, because that guy is not wearing any helmet so he's got to do that uh, so let's preview this so as you can see it goes up to the first to the second The fourth, and all the way back to the guy without the helmet. So let's say I want to uh, change the direction on that last thing so that it's not going from here to the right, but I want it to go from here to the left, like this. 
So let's see how I can do that. Uh, I go to point three, uh, and then, no point four, and I say path not the shortest, but I want it to be the longest. So I'm basically because the path between three and four, like what you were seeing to the right, is the shortest path, and to the left will be the longest. So now you will see and go to the left instead of to the right. And there you go. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like this, this video. I would really like to get one video with 100 likes. So if you, if you made it this far and you don't see 100, please do it. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> see you.